What's up everyone, Dinebot here, and welcome back to Flight Sim Mini 2023 Favorite Places to Fly World Tour. Today, we're taking off from Unalaska. The airport code is PADU, we're going to be taking the DC-3, seems like an appropriate plane for here. And you might know this place, but not under this name. This is Amanac Island in Unalaska, Alaska, but this is also Dutch Harbor. Now, Dutch Harbor itself doesn't appear on censuses as such since, I believe, the 1940s. It was incorporated into Unalaska. But, nonetheless, this is Dutch Harbor. You'll recognize it from the show Deadliest Catch. We're going to have to do a little finagling with the time of day up here, which is why I didn't really bother to mess with it on the main menu. There we go. Set our points of interest, because I always forget this. And we're ready to go. Go ahead and throttle up. Take the brakes off and let's get rolling. This is obviously a classic airplane. One is wanting to be really squirrely on the runway right now. That was an ugly takeoff, but we're in the air. There we go. That is, this is interesting enough, one of the few sites that was subject to aerial bombardment uh, during World War II that was actually part of the United States, aside from, of course, Pearl Harbor. You see the airstrip there behind us. I am going to swing us around. I'm going to head back over the airstrip. Hmm, those really high def cliffs. There we go. There is the airport right there, coming up on our left. And this would be a heck of an interesting approach. You're either coming in over water or you're trying to drop, in off, drop down off the mountains of the island right there. Uh, we're going to go ahead and head just directly ahead of us right there, down towards the harbor area. So... <clears throat> Dutch Harbor is a natural port because of this spit that you can see extending out here that we're kind of flying over. Obviously home to the crab fishing fleet that is featured in Deadliest Catch. There were native peoples here until the Russians came. And we could get into all the history of that, but it's frankly a lot. <laughs> See, just passing over right there. Now, obviously, the boats from Deadliest Catch are not going to show up in the game. Uh, I'm quite sure there might be a mod for that if you look around the internet hard enough. It's just popular enough and just specific enough that somebody may have actually made it. Let's pull up the VFR for you guys, let you have a quick look so you can see we're a little bit out in the illusion chain here. It is a ways on back up to... Uh, actual uh, continental North America there, but also heading on out, you can see the chain beginning to, and I need to pay attention to my flying instead of moving the map, you can see the Aleutians kind of straggling out through there. Let's have a look at what this place looks like during uh, the winter, shall we? Go ahead and give some snow depth. Quite a bit different looking. Very, very cool. So this is one of those places that literally I was like, I like that TV show, let's just go check it out. And it is pretty neat in real life. As I said, the airport provides a very interesting approach. That's pretty much the only place I think they could have built an airport. So, well, those where you just kind of have to figure it out. Oh, yeah. Could be very interesting to fly here, head back to the mainland. Uh, 
would not suggest a small plane. You want something that would normally be flown in and out of here. The DC-3, I felt, was appropriate. There's several other turbo props and big props that would uh, make this flight pretty easily. But that'll do it for me today, guys. Uh, if you enjoyed the video, like and subscribe it really helps the channel out. If you have a place you'd like me to fly, leave it in the comments below. And if you're here to the end, well, watch Thomas Key on YouTube. So thank you very much. My name is Dinebot, and I'll see you guys next time.